Uh, so what have you brought in for show and tell today, Mitchell? Uh, this is a family heirloom. Uh, it's been around in my family for generations since 1993. <laughs> uh, it was hand carved by Gunther Klockenschmidt. And I've always just wanted to see how it worked. Uh, my mom's instructions were never sell this. Well, so we won't. We won't do that. I will we'll, not sell yeah, this. Yeah, we'll make sure you can take it back home with you. I'll keep it in the family. Yeah. All of your family secrets are now out in the open. Huh. Interesting. I uh, should have let the jet sit there a little longer. I got the lower gear in half, though. I was just hoping that this was one of those things that wasn't like, there's all this money in the banana stand. <laughs> this part is really cool. So it's got these billows, which no longer work. <laughs> That's how it makes the cuckoo sound though, is these two, and then it's got like these train whistle things underneath it. And it plays the sound out through those holes there. These aren't as complicated inside as I thought they would be with how many moving parts there are. Like you've got this. a bird that comes out this window that opens its mouth, this that spins whoa, whoa, around. Where did our bird go? I think the water jet. Just totally ate her? Yeah, these people that spin, you've got a water wheel that spins, you've got a music box. There's quite a few moving parts, but it's not as complicated as you would think. Did you fix it? Does that remind you of eating bratwurst for breakfast when you were growing up? <laughs> and sauerkraut. <laughs> you just want that playing in the background the rest of the time now? Yes. <laughs> okay. I was able to get the billows and whistles out. You gotta blow like really light. It helps it's... We are not train whistle engineers. One works, one doesn't. We don't know why. German engineering at its finest. Now you did it. Here, you can have this one for childhood memories. Luckily, before we cut this in half, we uh, did film the entire thing working so that you can see that. So don't be too mad at us. And if anybody should be mad at us, it should be Mitchell's mom, so. I've always been her least favorite. Simple joys. <laughs> it really is. Though. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it is hypnotizing. Stop bullying Elliot. Yes. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah, you know, honestly, thank you for your support. Please, for the next video, get Elliot to dress up like Where's Waldo? Do I look like Waldo? We have a special sponsor this week on our video. You might have heard of them. It's water jet knives. And it's our subscription box. This box is special. Here's our knife flank. It is a dagger style knife. We call it the Caesar. Bacote wood. Oh, I love this stuff. It looks good on every knife. A second bonus knife plus some, um, um, what is this? Paracord. Paracord. To 
wrap around for the handle. Everything you need to make this knife. Look at that thing. Make one of these on your own. We have a video that we're gonna post on our YouTube channel that take you step by step on how to make this and one every single month. So come join the crew, learn how to make the Caesar. Again, I don't know why we called it the Caesar. It's just a little push knife. It, it sticks in this stuff. It's not really a slicer, it's more of a jabber, you know? Mmm, is Elliot um, a little bit special? Elliot is real annoying to look at and listen to. I miss the videos when it was just the duo of Dan and Mitchell. Dang it, Shindy. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha